once said, Murley, you, you said not so long ago that the best batsman you ever bowled to was this man here. Is that an opinion you're prepared to give in this room? Definitely, I had great battles with him because... Oh. Um, Is that played, mic on? Up to your mouth, right? Yeah. We played more matches uh, to, uh, in test matches with West Indies, with Sri Lanka, latter part of my career and his, his career. So always he's been dominating because he got so many runs. Um, I, I find very difficult to get him out so many. But still, we we able to, as a team, got them out, but we couldn't get Brian Charles Lara out. That's the problem we had. You could bowl the other 10 out, <laughs> but not BC Lara. What, did, did you grow up? or not grow up, because you wouldn't, but did, did you have an eye on Shane Warne? When Shane first made an impact, the famous ball to Mike Gatting, who's here tonight, and then the amazing impact he had on the game, did you have an eye on, on the game then, and, and was that an inspiration to you? Yeah, um, first I saw Shane, uh, 1992 test match in Colombo. Uh, first time, because he bowled first innings, he had in a great match, but when he bowled second innings and he came up and got last three wickets and won the test match for, we were in driving seat in about, I think, uh, nearly four and a half day of the match. And last one or two hours, Australian changed that match and they won the game. I was, I was a reserve and I was watching him bowling. And then after that, he went to Australia and against West Indies, performed like a champion. So always had admired way he bowled at the time. You know, like, okay, you'll be asking me here tonight in front of 600 people, but when a 10-year-old or 12-year-old asks you, Brian, how you score 400 runs? It's difficult to really tell 